Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia, and today we are doing a crawl space encapsulation. Doesn't look like it much, but uh, so there's your vents right there. That's that's your giveaway. And uh, just do the way the house is set up. Uh, we had to dig down and, uh, and enter the crawl space that way. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators and those looking to get into radon mitigation. If you are a homeowner, check out www.nrsb.org. That's National Radon Safety Board. Plug in your zip code and that will put you in touch with a certified radon mitigator in your area. Uh, we got to dig out about three feet to accommodate this big uh, honking drill here. And uh, this is a container used to mix concrete, and I like to use it just to carry goodies in my van, but also when I dig, I've got a nice neat place to put it, and then I can put it back exactly how I found it. Now I've even got a little piece of cardboard here to separate the mulch from the dirt. So when I put it back, uh, it should look like it's always been there. Um, I would like to be a little closer to that corner, but uh, where I wanted to be was exactly where an old tree used to be. Uh, the stump was revealed to me when I started digging, so I had to kick it just a little bit over here. And, uh, and that cardboard right there, uh, of course you want your plastic, but that little piece of cardboard will keep plastic from winding around that drill bit. Ooh, one more thing that's pretty important, how you wanna pull your measurements just right you want to be uh, either in the dead center of the center block which is inside or right on the corners where each center blocks are joined so if, if I had missed this uh, the, the drill bit would just fall into the cavern here and so now we've got something to ride all the way across so that's pretty important I call it the roll of eights and sixteens because uh, the center block is 16 inches so uh, anyway, that, that just might uh, make your day someday if you're in my position. Okay. Why are we doing all of this? This is a house on a vented crawl space that failed its radon test. It just sold, and uh, so they called me in. And I even retested it after discovering a few vents were closed, and it still failed. So here I am. What we want to do is this four inch pipe coming in converted to one and a half inch, and I've just got multiple suction points as the home slopes uh, down that way. And um, yeah, so uh, you wanna treat it like a drain line, um, always going down because uh, radon systems produce condensation and you need water to drain out of that. And when there's spots that uh, are, that you just can't get it elevated right, um, you put wheat holes, I do anyway. Nobody taught me this, I just came up with it. Oh. There you are. And that also acts as an additional suction point too, so it can't hurt there. Alright, I'm going to start putting the plastic down and I'll check back in with you. Okay, we have completed the crawl space encapsulation. And it's, it's a big deal. Um, Got to wrap around all these pillars and posts and uh, there's two water heaters actually in this basement there's the, there's the other one and uh, you know adhere the uh, the plastic underlayment to the walls and so this is what it looks like after so there's there's a pipe you know I showed you that before and we'll head outside now to uh, see what the fan and exhaust looks like. Okay, on this uh, crawl space encapsulation job, uh, we are setting up the, uh, the exhaust stack here at the very end. And um, I'm, it's ultimately not going to be white. 
what I'm going to do is um, I've got three colors that I'll do for radon systems on the outside um, white gray and brown um, brown is pretty much always the alternative choice seldomly do I use gray but between those three they always get it done and uh, match with the tones of the house um, so what I typically have to do is mock it up with with white pipe first because the uh, the painted pipe nicks so easily uh, you know you're taking these things apart so many times to make it all work out so I get it all mocked up with white and uh, when I know exactly what my measurements are then I go ahead and, and cut them exactly with the uh, the brown pipe so I'll show you what it looks like here in a second um, ooh real quick before I do that uh, the top of the stack is going to look like this I like to use the hub end of this uh, uh, thin gauge uh, PVC pipe and uh, it just it just makes for nice uh, uh, aesthetics there at the top and more often than not pretty much always I always put a, uh, a critter guard of some sort and um, critter leaves whatever helps me sleep at night so uh, I'll show you what it looks like and voila I say that that looks a lot neater and uh, it's well worth it Let's go ahead and uh, make it earth toned at the house best compliment I can get is uh, you know it's invisible we couldn't find it or you know uh, you, you, yeah, after it's all said and done nobody wants to see them or hear them so this is a trick that I do with manometers that I have to place outside um, to keep water water will want to run down and get into that YouTube I've got a video about that so this is a little hack I came up with to keep water out of the YouTube and it still you know it reads accurately uh, I haven't come up with anything to preserve that. This is destined to get uh, weathered out and beaten up, but I'll think of something and let you know. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, yeah, click subscribe by all means. I'll show you some other stuff. All right, thanks. Have a good one.